Hello, I'm Miss Ritchie, a school librarian at Horry County Schools. Today we'll be exploring Credo Database. Uh, it's a fantastic database available to all South Carolina students that you can use to make fantastic and strong research for your projects. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for the channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Now, let's jump into Credo. We are choosing to highlight Credo because it's a great and easy alternative to doing something like going to Wikipedia for research. So let's start there. So I want to give you a little bit of background on Wikipedia. It is about 80% accurate on their information, which is pretty good for something that is created by the public and for the public. But the reality is when you're in school and doing a research project, we want you to have really solid information. We want you to become experts of whatever research topic you choose. So Wikipedia is great for looking up about a movie or getting on top of reality stars and what they're up to today. But for your research, you deserve better. And you can get better with something called Credo Reference. So on my screen, I do have where Wikipedia themselves say <laughs> it is not a reliable source of research. They understand that it can be changed and edited and so it can be correct, incorrect from time to time. So we just want you to have a better option. This is why we are recommending Credo as a database research tool. I'm gonna to show you just really pretty easily how to use it. First of all, how do you get to Credo? Every school page, this is just one I chose, uh, but every school page has this puzzle piece called the Learning Commons, and it brings you to a page that has you log in with your Active Directory. That's just your network, username, and password. If that's not working or if it's down or something's just going on, you can also get to SC Discus by going to scdiscus.org. So we prefer you to go through Clever, so we kind of have an idea of who's using our databases. But if not, it's perfectly fine to go to scdiscus.org and click on A to Z list. So this is organized alphabetically. You can click on C and get to Credo Reference Center. Now, all of SC Discus is specifically for South Carolina residents. Your computer IP address should say that it's in South Carolina, but if for some reason it asks for a password, um, ask your school or public librarian for the password ahead of time so you don't have any issues at home trying to access it. So here we are at Credo Reference Center, which is kind of a most bang for your buck in terms of databases. It searches 3 million full text articles, 986 titles. So it's pulling from a bunch of different resources, which is really saving you a lot of time. Instead of clicking on a bunch of different Wikipedia pages, it's gonna search a lot of different sources at one time, making it a lot easier for you. So just for this example, I'm gonna click on climate change and we're gonna delve into this page a little bit. So the first thing that you're gonna see right here in the top left is typically um, an overview of your topic. So it's a topic page. Um, it's gonna give you kind of a foundation of what it is, what climate change is. When you click into it, you're gonna have a pretty good idea of what it is in a pretty broad sense. And as Horry County School students, we're gonna ask you to continue to delve even deeper. So this is kind of like a Wikipedia page, more reliable, but this is kind of what you would find on a Wikipedia page, just an overview. Credo expands it even more because we're gonna be asking more of you because we know that you guys can be spectacular researchers. We hope that you are by the time you graduate. So here's everything extra that Credo offers you that Wikipedia does not. You have over here a mind map, which is great for our visual learners. It shows you the connections between your topic and either larger topics. <laughs> so if you're looking at just weather itself, climate change, what is its role kind of to weather? Or more specific, within climate change, what does carbon dioxide, what role does it play? So it shows you a lot of those different connections. 
that you can also find if you were just reading through an article, but it shows it to you visually, hopefully helping you take in the information a little bit easier. You also have here in this next section, we have articles. What's cool about articles are that they are from all different types of publications. So some will be more environmental publications, some may be more scientific. So it kind of takes different approaches to it. Now Wikipedia is just a website. And when you do research papers and when you get out of this world and you're needing to research different topics on your own just for the sake of being a good, reliable, educated citizen, uh, you're gonna wanna look at all different kinds of sources, websites, but also articles, also primary sources, videos, images. So you wanna pull from a whole collection of sources. So all of these are articles from different types of books. So they're gonna be a little bit different each time. So if you're looking for a variety of research, this is a good place to go. Now, I know I just talked about Wikipedia and how it can be changed really easily. So I wanted to point out that Wikimedia Commons is right here on the right-hand side. What's really cool about Wikimedia is that all of the photos uploaded into it are Creative Commons, which means you can use them. You still wanna give them attribution, so you still wanna say where you got it from, but you can use it without any issues of copyright. So that's a great aspect of Wikimedia. You can get to Wikimedia on just a regular site as well, but it is embedded here, so you can start collecting those images for your research. Uh, we also have opposing viewpoints. If you don't know what this is, opposing viewpoints is a really cool approach to research because it'll show arguments within that topic. So within climate change, it'll have an actual concise argument for here's why we need to increase recycling as a very strong viewpoint. It'll also have here's why recycling isn't quite enough as a really strong viewpoint. So if you're looking for an argument, you're gonna find it here in opposing viewpoints. So we're gonna scroll through. What's kind of nice is all of these have already been searched within that term. So you don't have to open up EBSCO Mass Ultra. You can just click from it here and you don't, it kind of saves you a step. As well as, is all searching different ones. Any of these, search other sites. So if you click from any of that, it'll give you what you need. Now, final thing I will mention is within these articles, all of these are very helpful. You can cite it. You're probably going to do MLA and you're just going to copy and paste it over. You can print it if you need to. You can read it aloud. It can read it to you while you're reading it. So that might be helpful or it can translate. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to comment or reply to one of our other videos or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out other resources and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Dear Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.